All right, it's time to uh, make some uh, improvements to our cool little box right here. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to right click on it or command click, and it'll bring up this little menu, and you can actually click edit. It'll bring up the edit menu for this object. Now, you remember it gives you your directional arrows. You can pull and drag and do whatever you want to, but that's not what we're going to focus on. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to look at the two halves of this menu, everything above the line is about the tool set that you are using, right? You can move it, right? That's what it's set to do right now. You can click to rotate it, and that's what it'll do right there. Um, you can rotate that object. You can stretch it, which means you can grab the uh, little controls and drag it out and stretch it. And you can select the face. You can actually do different things to different faces. We're not going to worry about that right now. You can even edit length parts. Um, this button allows you to stretch it and stretch both sides equally, simultaneously, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, right now it's set to uh, snap to the world, so um, as I uh, was moving this object, you'll notice that I got some guides here, and if I drag my mouse above, it will actually snap to and click to the guides. If I drag it inside this open area, it'll move freely, right, snap move freely. And that that happens with everything, including rotate, right? It'll snap to it if I drag my mouse outside of it. I want you to pause this video and maybe try some of those different features. Rewind it if you want to see those again. I'll pause for just a moment. Okay, we're going on. So let me show you a few other things about this object, and we're going to customize this object. I'll click it back to move right here. Um, these buttons up here are valuable, but they're really not necessary for what we're going to do right now. First of all, you can name this object, uh, as I showed you last time. You can add a description. You can decide um, what the primary function of this object is when you touch it, right? You can either touch on it, you can sit on the object. The object, when you click it, sorry, this is click function. When you click it, it's a touch. When you click it, it's a sit on this object. When you touch it, it's a buy this object, pay this object money, open it, or zoom in on it. We're going to uh, try a couple of different ones of these. First, we're going to click sit. We're going to make this object's primary state a sit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that out, and you'll notice when I hover my mouse over it, it will allow me a little chair, and I can click, and I can sit on the object. That's my first challenge to you. Sit on your object. When you're ready to stand up, you can stand up. Then I'm going to right click on this object again, or command click. I'm going to zoom in just a hair here. And I'm going to change that state to zoom, right? It'll focus my camera on it, right? I'll show you the other ones later when we have a reason to do that. And then I'm going to click off of it. You'll notice I put my mouse over it and I can click on it and it will focus its zoom on it. Not necessary for anything we're doing today really, but I just wanted to show you it's there. I'm going to actually put it back to its touch state. Now you can make this object for sale and people can give you money for it. You can allow it to be shown in the search. And these are the rules, important rules, for what other people can do with this object. You can allow anyone to move your object. You can now allow anyone to copy. And in, if you sell it or give it away, you can sell it for zero dollars, and um, people can buy it for zero dollars. They can modify it or copy it if it's a complex object. Not necessary for what you're doing, but those are the basic behaviors of an object. And I want you to play and change these. Uh, sit on it. Um, try, um, you know, zooming in on the object. You can even um, try the buy object if you want. You can't hardly screw this up. It's just a box.